What's up guys, Eric, I'm in the studio. I got a new build here I wanna share with you guys real quick. Uh, this is something I've been planning for quite some time and finally got around to doing it. Uh, this is kind of a, a light and speed basher, um, you know, based on the Italian uh, platform. Um, this is basically a uh, Creighton with uh, Italian um, towers and shocks on it. And of course, uh, Arma Italian guitars. Uh, these tires absolutely rip and I just, I've, I've ordered another set of them. I, I try to keep these on hand at all times. They're just such great tires. They lighten the truck up and they just uh, really rip in pretty much all terrains. Uh, but this is the uh, Proline Brute Body for the Creighton that I fitted on here. It's very aerodynamic. Um, there's guys that have gotten well over 100 miles an hour uh, with this shell. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's definitely got the aerodynamics I'm looking for. And then a huge shout out to uh, Basher Queen. Um, uh, Kimberly Sanchez from Basher Queen. She uh, made these Italian uh, towers for me. Uh, she, has, she makes uh, awesome carbon fiber parts for basically the entire armor range and uh, some other brands as well. So you guys check that out. I'll put a link to her uh, eBay store in the description and also to these Italian towers right here. Uh, these things look super, uh, super beef caked or five mil thick and uh, just beautiful finish on them. And I'm very impressed with the, with the quality of the work. Um, I've also got the top plate and the uh, Ackerman bar in here, which you probably can't see. Uh, they sell all the parts individually, but I got it as a four pack. So it's kind of a, kind of a kit and caboodle of uh, both towers, the uh, uh, top plate and the Ackerman uh, bar right there. Um, it lightens the truck up about five ounces altogether. Uh, the standard uh, Italian right here without the body uh, weighs nine pounds and 12 ounces, and this Crowley is nine pounds and seven ounces. So five ounces isn't a lot, but when you're dealing with an RC car, you know, it does make a difference. And as far as the other upgrades on the truck, it does have the M2C uh, four millimeter chassis. This is the new chassis, the, the version two that Mitch came out with. She's already a little bit scratched up, but um, this will fit all the prior models, uh, older models, and uh, including the uh, V5 and the EXB. So it's kind of a one size fits all chassis. And it does have a uh, M2C uh, a chassis braces, uh, hot racing diff case. It's got the M2C uh, shock standoffs all the way around, um, along with the upper suspension block right here. And I got a couple of Volta Chavez goodies in here, some parts that I already had laying around. So I went ahead and stuck those in there as well. She's running the uh, stock BLX 185 system in here with a 20 tooth pinion. I got max punch. Uh, this system actually really rips in a, in a lightweight truck. Uh, this, this just screams, which you know, I've, I've always been impressed with this system in, my, in the Italian and the Typhon and stuff like that. I've never had an issue to actually have to change the system. So we're gonna keep that in here. As far as the truck setup goes, I've got a 60,000 a diff oil weight in the front, uh, 500,000 in the center and 30,000 in the rear. Uh, she's got Jim's bearings all the way around. Uh, Jim's uh, sealed bearings. I mean, it's an excellent bearing kit. I'm not gonna ramble on too much. Again, a huge shout out to uh, uh, Kimberly from Basher Queen uh, for the awesome uh, craftsmanship on these towers, the carbon fiber parts, and uh, also uh, Mitch Looper from M2C Racing. And uh, we're gonna give this thing her first little uh, maiden bash and see what's up. And guys, she flies nice and balanced. Oh, that was close.
dude, the wing just sheared off, and I guess it got up under the wheel and <laughs> threw it for a loop. Dang, yeah, this cold weather out here, man. It's been sitting in my garage all night where it's really cold. These plastics are brittle. Oh, guys, look like I sheared off the uh, T-bone bumper right here, probably on one of those forward rolls. <laughs> oh, well, let me just pull that off real quick. Guys, I'd say that's a little bit of a tower test. <laughs> oh! Alright guys, that's gonna be it. This thing was a complete uh, blast to drive. Looks like I got a wobbly uh, guitar there. <laughs> anyway, so stoked to have another uh, rig uh, in the Italian platform in the stable. Uh, she's uh, definitely a little animal. Check everything out in here. Uh, everything looks good. No breakages. The towers still look perfect. Again, huge shout out to uh, Kimberly Sanchez for those. Again, you guys check out her eBay store. She's got the Italian sets now available. And uh, they're sturdy and they uh, seem to do uh, very well. Lighten the truck up about five ounces or so. And uh, it's just pretty, uh, pretty nice little upgrade to change things up. We got a lot of bad weather coming in uh, next week. So I was glad to be able to get out this weekend and uh, get a good bash in and a maiden run with this with this truck. I got some other things uh, coming up to uh, review some uh, GC uh, RC fans. I'm gonna be uh, testing on the EXP Creighton, so you guys uh, be looking out for that next. We'll uh, definitely put them to the test and see if see what they'll take. And uh, we'll get out again soon. Until next time, RCG81. Peace out.